Alexandra with the Bucket List Mermaid and today we are going to be talking something a little bit more specific for your bucket list which is traveling to Europe or abroad with your cat. Oh, wait, I need to find my cat. So for context, this is Moshi. He moved with me to Budapest, Hungary for medical school. That's right. This little boy has been to Europe. Now, I have an entire blog post, which is very, very long, on explaining how I did this, how I did well, and how I failed miserably. So if you are thinking about traveling internationally with your cat, definitely make sure to check out this guide so that you do not make the same mistakes that me and Lil Moshi made here. Now, category, I would categorize this as adventure because it is a true adventure. Who needs to add this to their bucket list? Any adventurer or explorer who wants to travel but misses their furry friend, or if you're moving abroad. I also have a video on that. I'll link that too. Best time to go is anytime. Anytime you want. Travel to Europe with your cat. Traveling difficulty. Difficult. Difficult, difficult, difficult. Physical difficulty, I would say easy. You're pretty much sitting on a plane, there's just gonna be a lot of waiting around and a lot of really sad meows. You feel so bad for them, but you know, they'll be happy eventually. Popularity rating, I would rate this a 2 out of 10 because I have literally never met anybody else who has traveled internationally with their cat, but honestly, go for it. Is there a group or tour required? No, you just gotta do it on yourself and suffer by yourself, but please check out my guide because I wish I would have had that guide. Budget, I would say to budget a lot for this. You're gonna need vet bills, you're you're gonna need the airplane ticket, you're gonna need all these things that you just never knew you needed. Unfortunately, I would budget a lot to take your cat. <laughs> the video's gonna be so chaotic. <laughs> She's like, run away! <laughs> and this is my mother's cat, Amelia, although she hasn't been international. She has been on many hiking trips and on many adventures. She is probably the better temperament to go abroad, so it's also gonna depend on your cat. And although it is quite maddening and super stressful and I cried about it like approximately six times, it was so worth it to have my first little friend with me in medical school. The worst part about traveling is leaving your animals, right? Am I right? Oh, I'm right. Thank you guys so much for watching this short and sweet video about traveling internationally with a cat, and I hope you enjoyed. We will see you next time. Happy bucket listing. Say bye, Emmy. Say bye.